Voltorb flip. <laughs> yeah, yeet. Let's do it. <laughs> Play level one. I thought I already beat level one. Can I? What is this? Oh, you can mark. I don't know. Is that like points? Oh, interesting. Um, I swear I beat level one, but maybe I was in level zero. <laughs> as much as the memes of Voltorb Flip are funny to do, um, I'm probably not going to spend too much time on this. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go back for old time's sake, at least. So we got the easy ones out of the way. Both of these being zero columns. Now I think we gotta go down to the ones that have one, if my mind is correct. So do some overlap between some one ones. It's unlikely to be here. Or here. Let's see if that gives us any information. So this is four. There's ones, there's two ones probably here. Yeah, there's gotta be two ones in a Voltorb here. Probably not here. Okay, that's good. That's good. And it's kind of the same deal. Two more ones, three more. So there's five, but there's two tours. So there was probably a two, a one, and two tours. <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe I should go back to my clearing out of the thing. Get it down to the 50 50s. Unlikely to be here. So we got a 50 50 here and there. Two of these are torbs. So that, that's 33% chance of success. That's a 50 50. This one is still reasonable. Probably don't want to pick one of these though. And these are both twos. So this is kind of a gamble. Okay. So I'm leaning towards this probably being a tour. I'm gonna mark this with the Torb possibility. <laughs> Just because we know there's only one here and there's only one here. There might be overlap there. Uh, we're getting down to the wire a little bit. Here is where there's slightly more safety. There's only two here. I guess that's another 50-50. Well, not on the... Well, yeah, it is. Uh, but maybe we can lower that if we see if we know anything. So this has two, and this also has two. There's three open here, there's four open here. But this is one of the possibilities. So it's more likely that this is death than this. All right, good. <clears throat> so we know this is a torb. They're gonna mark that as a torb. Good. 
And now there's only one left here. Which is more likely to be in this row than it is this row. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Just because we knew there were two here and there were two here. Could I have spent more time on it? Probably, but we'll give it one more shot or so. Go ahead and go with the zeros to clear that out. And then it's just a lot of ones, huh? So just go to the intersection of some ones. Unfortunately, there is no one one perfectly. So we'll just start trying to narrow down some of the probably less dangerous ones. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay, how much time do I want to do? Oh, it's only been six minutes. That's not too bad. Uh, all right. It's nice to have double zeros, that, that helps. <laughs> At least me, I don't know if it's actually any easier. And there's a zero here, this really feels like a cakewalk. Okay. All right, so don't do anything here yet, probably. Because there's four, one, two, three, well, I guess we actually know these are all Torbs. This is great. This might be the easiest Voltorb flip in the world. Because there's only one here, and that's a Voltorb, so this can't be a Torb. And that's a Torb, so these can't be Torbs. And now here's where it gets down to the wire. So now I think we're in 50-50 town. Because there's one remaining here. And there's one remaining here. <laughs> uh, it's just kind of flip a coin. And unfortunately, we have to flip that coin right twice. <laughs> right? There's no way of knowing. this line means something that I don't understand. There's no there's no rules for Voltorb flip. I forget if there's any. Is that just saying Do these lines mean anything? I guess it's just the colors. So there's not like any connection. Okay. Uh, so that's the Torb. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Yay! Oh, do I have to do it? In <laughs> you have to do it in sessions. That's why you have to build up your Voltorb flipping. Oh, man. All right, well, I'll try level two. One, one. It's unlikely that this is one. And this. And this. And those are all the one ones we got. Nope. There's one one here. And here. It's <laughs> probably a lot that I didn't see, unless that was it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no full torp flip. Okay. We already found one torp. <clears throat> so 
want to avoid this row. You'll have to tell me, probably Jay, because you apparently have played a lot of Voltorb Flip, if there, there's more nuance to it, or if it is just, sometimes you gotta guess. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm guessing earlier than I should have to. Alright, that one was just a Leroy. <laughs> Alright. We're, we're running out of uh, Voltorb Flip Steam, I think, but... Maybe this is a nice gift. Okay. So, those are both threes. So it's got the same likelihood at the moment to be there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Voltorb. I can't say no to you is the problem. Come on, Voltorb! <laughs> Help a brother out. <clears throat> Got one cleared out. Don't want to take this fifty fifty. Guess we could do this. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> means something. <laughs> This is a 
Ah. <laughs> I don't I don't notice this one is cleared out too. So what does that mean? That means something. <laughs> okay, so this has one. And this has two. This has two. Oh, you know we're both of them have, one of them are for both, so that's the same odds right now. Three, there's only one here that's safe. Am I missing something? <laughs> so we don't need to think about this, really. No, other than this one. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay, so there's two of these. They're dangerous. They can't both be here. So I think I need to just try one of these. Wonderful. Which means this is a Torb. And this is safe. Which means this is a Torb. so close now. <laughs> don't rush it. Don't, don't self-destruct, Voltorb. I think if we get one of these without exploding, <laughs> then we win, right? One torp, one torp, we don't really know where it is. There's a 50, 50, there's 50, 50. There's two torps. Yeah. Just gotta hope, right? Back to think mode. Understand what I did. I didn't flip over all the. All right, whatever. I'll take the win. How does this game work? <laughs> if you flip the cards, you collect the color. Blah, blah, blah.
Okay. <laughs> Well, I'll take the win, I guess. Uh, but yeah, can't spend all the time in the world on Voltorb Flip. Uh, as much as people may want that. I'm sure that's not true, though. Um, especially the way I play it. Which I don't think is 100% the right way. Uh, but... Need to... Have some party readjustment uh, to get our core current friends up in here. See you. And then we will. Who's got the XP share? Oh, so good to have Nadini back. <laughs> we will go back on the long road <laughs> to uh, Cyanwood. And actually, do some trainer battles that apparently exist in the uh, National Forest? National Park, is that what it's called? That I just happened to run into when Alakazam teleported away, and that was sad. It wasn't Alex Samus Cadabra. I hope all these people are trainers, that would help. I guess I knew these people weren't trainers, but maybe these friends, more of these friends in the grass are. Oh, could I have a Don fan? He's a cool boy. I think it might just be ground though, so I don't really need another ground type. Of course it would have been better than nothing. Thank you, Kadabra. Nobody wants Bronzong. <laughs> it's just the Enigma Pokemon. So that's fine. Hello. Anybody a trainer up in here? Yeah. Could have had the fire chicken, which obviously would have been very powerful. But I'm fine with no starters. Hey, oh. Probably won't be a ton of XP, but at least it's a trainer battle. Last Chris. Ella kid, I killed you as well. Is grass good against electric? Is X good against Y? And other classic John questions. Nope, it's just a good move. Cleffa. Well, Cleffa. Sorry about this. Hmm. You, you think I'm cool, right? Uh, so how about we exchange phone numbers? Don't worry, you can call me anytime. What if I call her right now? <laughs> what do you do when I call you staring at you? Hello, this is Chris speaking. Oh, hi, John. You must be really shy. If you're nearby, you can come talk to me in person. It's all right. It's kind of funny. Don't need another electric type. I like Raichu's vibe, though. Old man, please have a lot of XP. We adore Pokemon, even if they dislike us. That's what being a Poke fan is all about. It's a little 
pushy. Spinda. This thing has weird eyes too. Like that other thing. That I don't know what it was. Whismer. I do know what it was. Probably not a lot of XP from this. Which begs the question, is it even worth stopping to do? I don't know, but at least it's somewhat interesting. My Pokemon. Gives me money anyway. The world is deep. There are still lots of things we don't know. But I know more than you do. Shut up, kid. <laughs> no, you are just a kid. Shut up, kid. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Golding goes kaboom. Kinda just rhymed boom with boom. Why does it seem like we should have more PP left for that move? What? what $300? The old man gave me a thousand. Your knowledge is impressive, I like that. I want to trade battle tips, I'll phone if I get good info, okay. I'll call you if I hear anything. Well, I think that was it. Or at least it was something. <clears throat> Actually. You got any secret items in here? What the? There's an item right there. <laughs> There's a non-secret item over here. <laughs> Climbing. What is that move? Aqua Ring. I think we literally just got that. Dang it. Still not the bag. <sighs> 34 episodes and I still haven't learned. Aqua. Ring. Huh. Maybe Natini just learned it. Silk scarf. Is that another thing that makes you fashionable? Gotta get out of the fence. Let me out. Let me out. Heart scale. That sounds fun. Felt like there was one up more. Dang. It's trying to avoid the grass. <laughs> Snubble. I like him. I like his little pouty face. I think he's probably just normal, maybe normal dark. <laughs> Don't really miss him. down there. Seems like it was up more, but it's not. Yeah, there you are, old Kadabby. Ruiner of dreams. Okay. <laughs> I think there's... I don't think there are any more.
All right, let's check our bounty. Heart scale, a pretty heart-shaped scale that is extremely rare. It glows faintly in the colors of the rainbow. I don't know what that does, if it does anything. Boost the power of normal type moves. Yeah. Could be a har honk kind of thing. All the way back to Cindercrest. <laughs> <laughs> what is Cindercrest? Is that a thing? It sounds like it's from something. Cindercrest. Nope. I have no idea what Cindercrest is. I don't know why I thought that was a place. Uh, it's definitely uh, Cyan Wood. Figure, might as well replenish the PP. So the goal, I don't remember if I mentioned this, is to get two or three, <sighs> come on hoot hoot, <laughs> stop it, uh, <laughs> two or three of the crew to level 29, two or three depending on the other two or three, to 28 and then like a 27 26 maybe even 25 uh, before probably fighting the gym later i honestly don't know if my patience will last that long and that may come to destroy me i'm not sure we'll take it in steps had to get the sleep off of Jaderade because sleep is annoying. So I'll probably take casual trips through the grass along the way here just to get some diversity in the boys. Go see some of our old friends from the earlier routes and uh get the opportunity to level up a little bit obviously they're going to be lower level so not going to be anything too crazy but hopefully the novelty makes up for that as novel as it can be i suppose please stop doing that oh my god bastardon my man oh thank you <laughs> See Arbok here? I feel like maybe once. I kind of like Arbok. Especially because of the backwards name thing. But that was always fun. 
feeling like you could tell your friends. Seemed like a smart, smarty. Probably should have giga drained, but I didn't. You're not very effective. I wonder if Kurt has my Pokeballs. Maybe should have gone back for him. <laughs> not going back now! I also don't really know how that works, if it's one day of in-game time, or if it's like one day, normal day-night cycle. But I don't know if they actually follow each other. Nateeny, almost there. Y'all looking forward to um, the remakes of Diamond and Pearl, and then Pokemon Legends Arceus. I feel like that could be cool. I don't really know many details about either of them, but uh, any Pokemon Switch games, I feel like. I have a good chance of being something interesting. Now that I'm here, actually, is my berry ready? Oh, they are! Oh. How many berries do I have? Or even are those? Probably in the berry thing. I have another three. Is three enough to cure? Oh, he's not in the house. Dang it, there's that other door. I could've just used that one. I'll do two, because I want to be able to plant one if I need to. Dang. No. I don't know. <laughs> Lots of oran berries. Okay, so I probably don't have enough, even with this extra one. I don't have any fertilizer. I will just plant my last one hopefully regrow <laughs> over time and maybe we'll heal this mill tank yet but it won't be now y'all got any secret farm items i knew it you can't just have a wide open space without secret items here dang it caterade keeps getting in the way Ugh, black sludge it's gotta boost poison right <laughs> yup uh, gradually restores the HP of poison type Pokemon. Inflicts damage on all other types. I don't know, that seems pretty cool. Might put that on. Uh, Yawknut. If. He is in a position where he wouldn't have leftovers on him for whatever reason. Darren Barry. Of items down here. I'm glad I checked. Hmm. <laughs> Can get those kind of everywhere, but I guess I'll take it. It's probably all there's going to be in this immediate vicinity. I didn't spend too much time in this grass. I don't know if there's anything different than what we were just at. Taurus. He's a cool boy. He's a cool boy. A cool boy. <laughs> so I was just thinking more about those new-ish games, and specifically the actual new one, RCS. Um, I wonder if they showed which star... Ugh. Give me strength. I forgot he was here. I remember now. <laughs> I remember now. Um. <laughs> poison him, please. Just poison him. Just poison him. 
guys in the stupid thing. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I know they did like a, a reveal of that or at least minor details. Um, a couple, three weeks ago, something like that. I wonder if they revealed the starters for Arceus. Because I don't really understand, slash no, because I haven't looked at it at all, what the story is there. Like, is it just going to be Gen 1? Because I know it's a prequel. Is it just going to be Gen 1 Pokemon? Or are they, they all new and, like, old school boys? I think there are at least some old school boys and then, like... Maybe they're all new forms, or some new forms, like the Galarian kind of deal, but like, old. <laughs> so there's just like Caveman Pikachu or something. I don't know, should be cool. I don't care so much about the uh, ugly trees that everybody's talking about. <laughs> Obviously I'm playing this and it's pixels. I'm playing this on a PC that I spent probably a couple thousand bucks, maybe a little less than that. Granted, that was years ago. So obviously I don't care too much about graphics. Uh, I'm gonna have to get somebody who can surf again. So I'll just put a baby Sclary or something. Just for the time being to get back over there. Or... I could. I'm gonna put Jay away, because I know how much he loves it. Wouldn't want to deny her that. I was... When I pull out... Swamku out of the box to do the surf thing. I always think that I have to put him in first position. Oh, yes, this place. I've been here. Been there, done that. And back to our old wet friends. <laughs> Let's guess it's the hippo. Oh no, I guess the hippo's on the next route anyway. Why are you lower level than the last route, Sir Widow? I don't approve. If you level up Jade Raid to 29, though, I do approve, so you did, so cool. <laughs> Alright, so somebody else. is good against a lot of things when we're swimming. I'd also like to know if ground is good against rock or otherwise. A diggy dig. <laughs> I would like to see Sidowoodo dig. It's good against rock. Rock and electric, at least. Now I'm gonna guess it's another Mikpo. I think water might be good against ground. But at this point, we've got such a level advantage. I can take that chance for a little bit. much. Did I say rock is good against ground just now? I meant water if I didn't say water. <laughs> Unconfirmed. Well, now it will be confirmed. 
yeah, okay. Let's not do that then. Hot dang. McPo, you're back out. Uh, Sclary, you're in. Do we see Blissey here? Well, Blissey shouldn't be able to really do anything against Mrs. Sclary, because she probably just knows normal types, but apparently Ghost doesn't hit her, and I still don't know why. But this will! I'm not going to do a ton. That's okay. Oh man, does that heal her? Soft boiled. Why you do this? Guess I'll use Confuse Ray if it hits her. Okay, that should help. Especially if she's gonna put me to sleep. Probably should have used Disable, honestly. Probably use it after that so she'll stop healing. Come on now. Immediate snapped out. But at least we got rid of that for now. I think it only lasts like four turns or something. And honestly, I may regret that if she keeps singing at me. Sclary kind of looks like a potato <laughs> in the sprite form. You really snapped out of confusion again? Ah. I'm just glad it's missed on Sing so many times. There should be a decent chunk of XP. Hurt yourself, please. Yes. Yes! So Sclary is hard to hit in a lot of situations. Does not do a lot of damage right now. Because that was quite the fight. Though I guess Blissey is probably one of the uh, most resilient boys that we can encounter. is always good, just to limit their damage and possibly increase the damage they take. Those things always look like ducks to me, the confusion birds, which doesn't make any sense, because they, they chirp. But that's how it didn't affect... no. I guess it just was the confusion text. Uh, let's disable water gun. That was dumb. <laughs> I guess I can shadow sneak this one. I don't know why I'm pursuiting it. Just for the same type. Just clear, you really don't do a lot, do you? I have to switch out. Poof. You take a lot of damage, man. Bork will finish this in er, with haste, so that's okay though. Sheesh, still I'm against an electric type that did a lot. This Vaporeon's a god. This is like the max stat Vaporeon. Just gonna put Natini in front because everybody else is. Oh, wiener. 
Okay. Pause. Unpause. Perfect. No issues. Uh, we are ready to go. I just gotta remember where we're at. Jade Raid's where she needs to be. Natini's at 28. Um, Jacendant is also at 28. I'm not sure what her progress is towards the next level. So those three are all in a pretty decent spot. Just need to kind of beef up uh, the Mikpo Bork and Miss Glary might be where she, okay where she is. So continue down to Watertown, as they say. Nobody's ever said that. Um, let's see what we can see. So Natini's pretty close. He's basically there right now after this fight. That should get him to 29, which is amazing that Natini is now in our highest level bracket. He's back! Natini, yes! Oh, I love it. What a victory. I guess then we can go ahead and take the XP share off of him. Give him uh, the wave incense or the sea incense. I'm tempted to do the lustrous orb. I feel like it probably wouldn't do anything, but oops, it's just supposed to. You can hold it for a second, but I'm gonna give him one that I actually know will do something. And then, switch in Mikpo for now, and give the XP share to Bork, because there's a lot of ground types in this water, which is a little odd. But I guess it doesn't entirely matter right now, because we're here. And of course, if we come across a type you would have been fine against. In fact, I'm probably going to switch him in. Hello, Vaporeon. Allow me to introduce you to the concept of Zap. It's going. It's spreading like sparks. Uh, it wasn't anything. <laughs> so I guess, even though it seems like this is a recent recording, because I just started it up again after the stupid sprites, I guess we should get here into cutting this one off, because we're approaching an hour. Bum, bum. My name is John. Hmm. Sleep him. Because I think this might take a little bit. Don't bite me, sir. But don't bite me! I really want to look at Mikpo's ability. Why does it. Okay, well now I have to check his moves. <laughs> Summary moves, takedown. Full body charge, then I find. Also damages the user. Why does it seem like takedown never actually does any damage to Mikpo? I don't understand. Okay, well I saw it there. Great, now I'm gonna be asleep. Rude. We're both just going to be sleeping at each other. <laughs> Crit! <laughs> Not even close. Don't want to switch in Borg. <laughs> just to end it. 
Ethan's probably fine because he's asleep. And he doesn't know any immediate crisis moves. I could switch him out if he digs. Up into the center to remove that sleep. How he's walking around right now if he's asleep, I don't know, but we won't question that. Sleepwalking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I think that is a decent point to stop here. Uh, we <laughs> made the journey back after some Voltorb flipping, uh, to our recent home of Cyanwood, and we're in a pretty good spot level-wise, um, for the gym, I think. Just need a bit more power, uh, on Mikpo and Bork, and then I think we could go ahead and take it on. I think I should be able to hit that up in the next part, hopefully. If not, it'll probably be the very beginning of the part after. So get that gym out of the way soon and uh, continue on, <laughs> possibly with more grinding before the next, next gym, but we'll see what happens with the first one. Don't count the chickens before they destroy your boys, as they say. So, remember... There's a spectrum to acknowledge, and those on it often are unaware. <laughs> <laughs>